Hey guys, this video is going to focus on how do we determine whether a graph has an inverse function or not. So for this example, you're given a graph and you're asked, does it have an inverse? So the way that we tell if it has an inverse or not is we do what's called a horizontal line test. All right, so horizontal line test, which pretty much says if you can draw a horizontal line anywhere on your graph and it only crosses at one point, then yes, it has an inverse. If you draw a horizontal line anywhere on your graph and it crosses more than one point, then no, it does not have an inverse. So a lot of times what I'll do uh, using a book or using my notes, using a piece of paper, I'll just take my pencil or my marker and I'll go through and, you know, go through the graph and use it as a horizontal line and cut through my graph at a bunch of different places and see does it cross once or does it cross most or more than once. You can also draw random horizontal lines on your graph and see how many times it crosses your graph. So taking a look at example A, so if I drew a horizontal line right over here at the vertex of that graph, it would only cross one time. But if you see all these other horizontal lines that I've drawn here, it crosses at two points. One, two, one, two. Everywhere else it's going to cross at two points. And since it crosses at more than one point, that means no, this does not have an inverse function for it. It's as easy as that. Draw a horizontal line anywhere on your graph. If it crosses one, yes, it has an inverse. If it crosses more than once, no, it does not. Looking at example B, so I make a line here, crosses once, crosses once, crosses once. Even if it crosses all the way down here, it's still only crossing at one point. You have to be careful with graphs that look like example B because this bottom of this graph looks like it almost completely straightens out here, but it's not going completely straight. It's going down just a tiny bit, a tiny bit, a tiny bit, but it's still curving down. It's not a straight line. So yes, this only crosses at one point. So yes, it does have an inverse function. Taking a look at example C, so it crosses here, one point, one point, but then I get down here and it crosses one, two, three points. That's an automatic no for that one there. Looking at example D, so let's see, one point, one point, one point. So example D is just like example B. Even though this line here looks like it's going steady and it's going to a straight line, it's not. It's little by little going to be working its way up, 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 up. So it's still only crossing at one point here. So for example, D, that is a yes. So to determine whether the graph has an inverse function or not, use the horizontal line test. Otherwise, that's it for this video.